Chapter on to confess being guilty of an illegal sexual intercourse. Narrated Abu Huraira and Zaid bin Khalid, may Allah be pleased with them. While we were with the Prophet, peace be upon him, a man stood up and said to the Prophet, peace be upon him, I beseech you by Allah that you should judge us according to Allah's laws. Then the man's opponent, who was wiser than him, got up saying to Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, Judge us according to Allah's laws and kindly allow me to speak. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Speak. He said, My son was a laborer working for this man, and he committed an illegal sexual intercourse with his wife, and I gave one hundred sheep and a slave as a ransom for my son's sin. Then I asked a learned man about this case, and he informed me that my son should receive one hundred lashes and be exiled for one year, and the man's wife should be stoned to death. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, By him in whose hand my soul is, I will judge you according to the laws of Allah. Your one hundred sheep and the slave are to be returned to you, and your son has to receive one hundred lashes and be exiled for one year. O Unas, go to the wife of this man, and if she confesses, then stone her to death. Unas went to her, and she confessed. He then stoned her to death. Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him. Omar said, I am afraid that after a long time has passed, people may say, We do not find the verses of the Rajam stoning to death in Allah's book, the Qur'an, and consequently they may go astray by leaving an obligation that Allah has revealed. Lo, I confirm that the penalty of Rajam be inflicted on him who commits illegal sexual intercourse if he is already married and the crime is proved by witnesses or pregnancy or confessions. Sufyan added, I have memorized this narration in this way. Omar added, Surely Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, carried out the penalty of Rajam, and so did we after him.